YouTube, we've been having a little bit of a debate on the channel about who to potentially use an Awakening Gym on. Now, I'm notorious for hoarding these, which is why in my inventory I have not one, but two six-star generic Awakening Gyms. I have not spent the two that I obtained this year. Although, can you believe it's been months and months and months since we got the Romance six-star Awakening Gym in, what, like February? And a lot of people used that on Hercules, which was pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Eric Nelson, who along with Craig Oglesby and Jordan Daniel, our newest member, put up $5. Hello! And uh, Eric Nelson is my man who convinced me to take Ultron to rank 4. Eric, is your Ultron Civ 200? Also, I could have sworn I just changed the profile pic. Let's do it again. There we go. All right. Bobby, are you talking about romance or a romance gym? <laughs> um, okay, so I have two generic awakening gems. I thought, honestly, I was going to use one on Red Hulk. If I had had enough Tito's one night, I was totally going to use a generic awakening gem on Red Hulk. But... I got him in a basic. Now, we have Hit Monkey that I could awaken. Does he need it? Warlock. Hulkling. Nimrod. Cersei. Blade and Black Cat are two champs that I'm real tempted to think about. I don't know how much they benefit, and Sauron. So, we have two votes in the chat. Also, by the way, we were asking the chat, should I use a generic six, uh, Awakening Gym on 6-star Blade? Yes, no, it's 47-53, now it's 45-55. Alright, let's ask the same question for... Nimrod. Wow. We had the poll going for three minutes. 54 votes. Um, Y'all, I learn just as much, if not more, from you than you do from me. I tell the same thing to my students. That's true, too. I had to learn last semester what a leash kid What Anybody ever heard of the, the phrase leash kid when, like, you got a little toddler or maybe, like, an elementary school kid and you have a backpack and you they're on a leash in, like, the park? That blew my freaking mind. Um, all right. Well, the poll is coming out strong for Nimrod. Um, what sig does Nimrod need to be at? Anybody can answer that? All right, so that's shocking. Right now, of course, he's got zero tolerance for having zero tolerance because he's not awakened. But... Uh, Joshi's scene says anyone that gains regen or prowess buffs gets destroyed by Nimrod. I, uh, oh, at least above Sig 100. Evan says Sig 1 is fine for Nimrod. We have literal comments colliding against one another. Sig 1 or Sig 100. Back-to-back -back comments. What's up, Ryan Veda? Would you, would you use a generic six-star awakening gym on Nimrod? Welcome to the chat. So, um... You know, the bottom line is, use items, by the way, is now, I could do it. I could totally do it. I'm not going to do it right now because we got to strategize these things. Don't be impatient. But I'm to the point now where I'm trying to strategize my next rank four. I will tell you all, despite the fact that Apocalypse and Doctor Doom were overwhelmingly the choices for the community when we did the poll tonight, the guy that I use the most, especially in Cav Event Quest, is a mortal abomination. And I think to myself, if I use him every month, and he's a good Suicides Masteries champion, why not? It's part of the same reason why I took Ultron to rank for. So, we'll see. Also, we have a uh, honorable mention from uh, one of our subscribers, Mr. Maximum Carnage, love that name, to use a generic on Hyperion. 
Maybe. I don't know. Would you rather use a generic on Hyperion than Nimrod? And 713 Ivani, I don't think Nimrod, or I don't think Immortal Abomination needs the Awakening because he was great without it, but it doesn't hurt. And uh, he is indeed, because I just like putting six stones, Sig 34 with that Toxic Husk. Well, uh, Evan Peterson chimed in and said, Nimrod at Sig 1 doubles his ramp up speed versus Mutant's additional Sigs just make his buffs, debuffs, and passives longer. So would you do that over using it on uh, Black Cat or. Hyperion and others. Um, all right, well, we're going to put this video out on the channel at the time of recording this in about 40 minutes. So I appreciate everybody's input. I just, I need help, you know? I need, I need help. And maybe the answer is don't use them on anybody yet. I do think that I'm going to go for the Eternity of Pain. Uh, hello, Galen Wonderland. Uh, I'm going to go for the Eternity of Pain class-based Nexus as skill to try to get Shang-Chi or Blade Awakened. So Nimrod will be unaffected from that crystal, or Hyperion for that matter. So, Kick Rocks, I appreciate you saying that. Alright, if you're watching this live, stay tuned. We're just getting started. If not, thanks for the input. Have a good one.